How to sharpen with Derex. Before sharpening, set the Derex to the desired point angle. Most drill angles are 118 or 135 degrees. Then, align the drill. This sets the drill so that only a small amount of the tip is taken off and ensures that the drill geometry is correct for sharpening. Next, sharpen drill by turning the chuck clockwise. Finally, you may want to split the point of the drill. That's all there is to sharpening with your Derex. Detailed demonstrations. Step 1. Alignment. Check the helix on your drill and set the relief adjustment accordingly. A low helix drill will be aligned in the plus direction and a high helix in the minus direction. Insert the drill into the chuck and tighten the chuck knob just to the point where the drill slides in and out. Align the notch on the chuck nose with the pin in the alignment port. Push the paddle down and hold it. Insert the chuck and release the paddle. Make sure the drill tip is touching the drill stop. Look through the viewing port and make sure the paw arms are positioned in the narrowest part of the helix on the flutes. If they aren't, turn the drill to the point that they are. This is very important because this setting determines the relief angle. Then, hold on to the chuck and tighten the chuck knob. Press the alignment paddle and remove the chuck. Tighten the chuck once more so that the drill won't move when you sharpen it. Step 2. Sharpen. Set the point angle between 118 and 140 degrees. Lift the sharpening port and insert the chuck. Then rotate the chuck clockwise in half turn increments about six to ten times. The number of turns will vary depending upon the size of the drill and the setting chosen for material removal. It is important to keep consistent chuck pressure during sharpening. Let the cam dictate the natural in and out sharpening motion. Remove the chuck and inspect the drill and resharpen if necessary. Optional step. Split the point. To split the point, do not remove the drill from the chuck after sharpening. Match the notch on the chuck with the tab on the splitting port. Insert the chuck slowly into the port and count to one. Rotate one half turn and repeat holding for a count of one. Inspect the drill. A correctly split drill should look like this. If you're not satisfied with the depth of the split, turn the depth adjustment knob to either increase or decrease the depth of split. Split angle adjustment. The chisel angle of the drill changes due to the relief of the drill. When adding a split point, you want to eliminate the chisel edge and add additional cutting surfaces to the drill. To adjust, loosen the screw and move the bracket slightly to the left. A split drill should be positioned rotationally to just remove the chisel line. Excessive amounts of rotation will lengthen the split line, reducing the cutting edge and the effectiveness and longevity of the drill. Additional settings. Material removal. You may also need to set the material removal knob. We recommend starting with a setting of three. A setting of one removes approximately five one thousandths of an inch and goes up to a setting of four, removing twenty thousandths from the end of the drill. Lip relief. The relief paddle will set the desired lip relief. This setting will vary depending on the helix angle of the drill you are sharpening and on your specific drilling needs. Start on the zero setting. Move the paddle in the minus direction to lessen the relief for more accurate holes and for harder material. Move it in the plus direction to increase the relief for faster drilling and drilling in softer material. Any drill may be sharpened in any position that achieves the desired relief. Point angle adjustment. Note that your Derex works fastest when used to sharpen drills to their original point angle. If you are making a large change in the angle of the drill, you will need to align and sharpen the bit two to three times. Maintenance and cleaning. Your Derex is a precision tool and should be cleaned regularly to remove dust and grit that can wear down the ports and the chucks. The following process takes about five minutes. You will need to clean the chuck, the alignment port, the sharpening wheel area, the sharpening port, and the splitting port. Unplug your Derex before beginning the cleaning process. Use a dry cloth or a one-inch vacuum hose or compressed air to remove dust particles from all of the ports and sharpening area. If you have a vacuum available, you can attach it to the exhaust of the sharpening port. 
To use, unscrew the wheel casing and remove the vacuum port plug. Insert the vacuum tube attachment and replace the cover. A clean chuck will prevent drills from slipping out of alignment during sharpening and will help maintain the concentricity. To clean, unscrew the chuck body from the chuck knob assembly. Use compressed air to remove grindings. Clean the inner diameter threads of the chuck body with brake cleaner. The sharpening wheel will need to be cleaned every 100 to 200 drills and occasionally replaced. To clean or change the wheel, remove the cover and sharpening wheel. Then clean using a brass bristle brush and brake cleaner. Use your user guide to determine when to change the wheel. At Derex, we want to ensure that you are fully satisfied with your product. Consult your user's guide and our website for additional information and contact numbers. Thank you for buying Derex.